research that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. Geckos are a family of lizards that live uh, throughout the world between about 40 degrees north and 50 degrees south. And they have a whole bunch of interesting things about them. One is their ability to stick to surfaces uh, and, and have this amazing ability to move about in places where other animals can't go. Firstly, as an evolutionary biologist, I'm interested in how animals adapt their structure to circumstance. The other is then how we can adapt those structures to our own ends. The questions we posed this time was actually when do these animals use this system? So they, do they use it all the time or do they use it only when environmental circumstances demand? Because again, this gives us some insights about how we might adapt uh, those characteristics and use them for our own purposes because if we understand how the animals are using them, then we can essentially modify our approaches to understand what we might need to do and what we don't need to do. So you can see the amazing strength of this grip. If I take a microscope slide, I can just hang it onto this animal. It will hang. If I pull on it, it's a, a tight grip. I can make it let go. So this is what the animal is doing at every footfall. It's basically allowing that grip to occur and then releasing it. What we found out really was something quite surprising that uh, the central nervous system, the brain and the ear structures probably are involved very intensively in how and when these structures are actually used. Uh, so body orientation, rather than any reaction with the surface, is what triggers when this system is switched on. It could be used for static applications. So again, if we do something like this, if it's going to allow me to do that, um, hang things like pictures on the wall with no residue, no marks left or whatever, um, or we can use it potentially for uh, applications that are more dynamic, so there's been talk of applying synthetic systems to things like feet on robots to get them to scale difficult surfaces, also for surgical applications to close wounds and so on, so um, there's all sorts of engineers involved in trying to microfabricate these types of little, uh, little structures, these little white patches you see here, little hair-like structures to actually um, put them to, to various human applications.